Hello, future teachers just like me. Today I'm going to be talking about a discipline model that you can be that you can use in your future classroom that would be very beneficial. I learned about this in my class. Uh, so it's called the Positive Discipline Model created by Fred Jones. It has four uh, steps or stages that need to be working in parallel in order for this discipline model to be functioning. So the four steps are limit setting, responsibility training, omission training, and having a backup system. So I am going to talk about each step in uh, a little bit just so that we can be more familiar with what the steps are. The first step is called limit setting. This is setting rules before students even have the opportunity to misbehave. So uh, in high school, a good way to be setting rules is to have students vote on rules that feel important to them. Um, by voting the, for these rules, you can create a um, set of rules that students feel comfortable and, ha and happy with. This will make them more, more likely to follow the rules and less likely to break them. Now in middle school or elementary school, this technique might not be very beneficial so instead teachers can post rules traditionally and just have rules posted. Um, the second step is responsibility training. This step is also very important. It is a way to encourage your students to follow the rules without having to get after them. So uh, in middle school or elementary school a good way, to, um, good way to have responsibility training would be to have a treasure bank. A treasure bank like this where full of prizes that students uh, feel like they would really want and by doing this students can um, build up points throughout the week or throughout the month however the teacher feels and they can use these points in order to go to the treasure bank and win prizes. Now in high school instead of having a traditional treasure bank we can maybe have like homework passes or um, just different things that would appeal to high school students. This is very beneficial because it's a way to motivate your students to follow the rules. Now the third step would be omission training. This is for students that uh, can't maybe, they don't really like the responsibility training or that they tend to misbehave more. Now in this stage you pull out that student and maybe have a small discussion with them. By pulling out the student from uh, when they are misbehaving, this takes them away from students that are following the, tr the responsibility training and um, it just uh, doesn't disrupt the whole classroom. So this is beneficial because instead of calling up the student in front of the whole class, you pull them out and have a small talk about what is going on. The last step is called uh, having a backup system. Now this backup system is traditional punishment. So uh, if a student misbehaves or a student, for example, if a student has a phone out, you take the phone. That's just traditional punishment. You take it up and they can have it back to the end of the day or depending on the school. Like I know my past high school you had to pay $15 at the end of the day in order to get your electronic device back. Another traditional form of push punishment would be being sent to the principal's office or different things like that. Now in order for this uh, discipline model created by Fred Jones to be working functionally in a classroom, we need to have a class, typical class routine. So we need to have objectives posted for the day and for the week so classes know what they'll be doing in the future. Now the, there needs to be set rules just like we talked about in the limit setting and the class needs to be very organized. Now by doing this different type of model, students are more likely to um, not break rules. Now, positive reinforcement, I feel, is always better than negative reinforcement. So by having a positive discipline model rather than getting after students, this might be, this might work well. Um, I am very excited that I learned about this discipline model so that I can use it in my future classroom. I do feel like this one's best. I read about several different discipline models called win-win or different ones. And I just feel like this one was best and could be used in all classrooms, starting from middle school, high school, and even elementary schools. Um, thank you everybody for watching, and um, good luck to all the future teachers out there. Thank you. Bye.